Welcome to the channel guys, this is uh, Not So Burundian here and today we are not out on the road and neither are we going to be because I am currently under confinement, day number four or three, I don't know, I've lost uh, track of time. But I want to start off today's video by thanking all of the 97 people currently subscribed to the channel right now. You guys are amazing. I super appreciate you guys. And to anybody else who's not currently subscribed to the channel, but you happen to be enjoying the content, hey, at least drop a like. Or if you happen to forget to subscribe while you're watching my videos, I can understand why. So subscribe right now. But other than that, I'll be back shortly after my entry clip. Don't go anywhere. So if you watched any of my previous videos, you know that I was in India for a certain period of time. From the very first clip, that happens to be at about, uh, it's a clip that I happen to have made about three months ago, I think. Yeah, I was in India. I survived the entire COVID period, COVID pandemic from 25th of March last year when it started all the way to September when I left India. Didn't catch COVID not one time. Survived all of the lockdown phases. I was there during the unlock phase one, unlock phase two. I lived through all of that. I don't even know how many phases have been so far, about eight or 12 of unlocking the lockdowns. And so I survived through all of that. You know, India was known and is known to be a hot spot for COVID cases. But yeah, we didn't catch COVID not once. My housemates and I, even though the, the there might have been a time when we think we caught COVID. It lasted for about two to three days when we felt weird. It could have been anything. We never went for a checkup, but you know, we were fine after three days. So no COVID. But fast forward a month and a half later since I left India. This is October and I am currently COVID positive in a country that is in no way known to be a COVID hotspot at all. So I'm currently in Burundi and tested positive about three days ago, three, four days ago. And I've been in confinement since. And it's got me wondering, uh, what the heck? Like, how did it happen? How do you survive a year and a half in India, not catching COVID, only to come catch it here? A country unknown to be a COVID hotspot. Well, I've got a few theories and <laughs> stick around and uh, stick around to see if I may be correct with the theories that I have. And so number one, I think is the reason why I caught COVID in Burundi so easily and in a very short period of time is that uh, Burundi is densely populated, as I discovered. Apparently, Burundi is even more densely populated than USA more densely populated than India itself with 1.3 billion people and it's actually comparable to China when it comes to population density so here's the thing I ran the numbers did my research and it turns out that there are 464 people living in a square kilometer in Burundi in comparison there are about 36 people living in a square kilometer space in USA. There are 464 people living in a square kilometer in India, which is basically like one person extra compared to Burundi. And then when it comes to China, 153 people per kilometer square space. It's not even half of the people that live in a square kilometer space in Burundi. We're densely populated, number one, and so, which means uh, when it comes to public transport, people are super packed. When it comes to um, areas where people do their uh, regular day-to-day -day shopping and 
you know, shopping for groceries and clothing and all that kind of stuff were super packed. And yeah, my chances of catching COVID increased when I moved around to visit those areas because I, you know, I had to go get stuff and, you know, just be out there. So that's the reason number one why I think I caught COVID. Too many people that gather up in areas at once. And then reason number two, I would term it to be a uh, low or infrequent sensitization to preventing the spread of COVID. So what I mean by that basically is um, people aren't being sensitized enough to protect themselves against COVID. Putting it out there enough on the radio, they're not putting it out there enough on TV to have it ingrained in people's heads that they should uh, protect themselves against COVID. And so people don't remember or do not see the importance of wearing a mask as much. People do not use uh, sanitizers as much. When it comes to public transport, there, there is no such thing as uh, social distancing. Nah, it's still the same as it was before COVID. You know, six people per row, full bus, some people wearing masks and people not wearing masks and others get to, others decide to wear a mask if they uh, find themselves approaching a police barrier. You know, we have a bunch of police barriers in certain places where police do their regular checks or whatever. That's when somebody decides to pull out the mask to wear it. And so <laughs> I guess a lot of people catch, a lot of people catch COVID that way because many of us use public transport. And then there's uh, when it comes to public spaces and offices, people don't wear masks either. You usually find like one out of 10 people has the mind to put on a mask. And so that's how I think we, that's reason number two why COVID spreads so easily out here. The lack of proper uh, sensitization from the government or public offices to uh, encourage people to wear masks and just, you know, use prevention measures out there to ensure that they don't catch COVID or spread it. And reason number three why I think COVID spreads so easily out here is I suspect that packaged food items are culprit for spreading COVID-19. So what I mean by that is, you know, uh, when it comes to stuff like bread, uh, peanuts, maize flour, and you know, all these, all these foods that are packaged locally in uh, little plastic bags or whatever. I think, oh, and uh, also drinks and water bottles, all that stuff, I think is culprit when it comes to spreading COVID-19. And I say that because uh, these items exchange hands. They exchange a lot of hands. By the time they reach you, that thing, that package has been touched by a bunch of people. And so, Chances of you catching COVID are really high. If you add to that the fact that people do not sanitize as much, don't remember to sanitize as much, they don't wear masks. Yeah, you've got COVID moving around people a lot. So packaged foods that are being sold uh, in shops and everything, those are things to look out for. People need to come up with ways to uh, self clean the package once you've bought all your food and groceries and stuff. I don't know, uh, spray the package with a bit of uh, sanitizer or I don't know, come up with ways to clean the stuff because that's the one way I think many people let COVID into the uh, household without even knowing it. And then the fourth thing that I think is the reason why I caught COVID so easily. The one thing that I've noticed about uh, so many places and offices in Burundi is that uh, they have this uh, water tank or bucket that has a uh, tap at the bottom. So in a bunch of, in so many public offices and uh, places of work in town is a bucket of water and soap that you people use to wash their hands before you get into an establishment or a building. And the thing is, there is no one really out there to control, to control whether or not you properly wash your hands. As long as you open the tap, and your hands were seen in water, it is basically assumed that you washed your hands clean. And as we know it, uh, you're supposed to take about a minute to two minutes to wash your hands. And there's really not, there's no one out there that's taking a whole minute to wash their hands. And so that whole soap and water thing uh, is something that I don't really trust. 
I guess people are trying to avoid uh, using hand sanitizer because it's expensive compared to a bar of soap and water. So I don't know. That to me, I think is another uh, culprit of spreading COVID-19. I should be using most hand sanitizers, man. So that's reason number four. And that's the last reason why I think I caught COVID so easily. No, first things first. Uh, breathing is not an issue. I haven't had an issue with breathing. This is not any symptom that I've had so far. So what happens is, what happened is that uh, on the very first day, I noticed a drop in energy. You know, I was out of energy in my body. I felt sort of weak, if I should say so. My muscles were not having, did not possess the usual energy that they had that's on the first day and then the next day when the uh symptoms let me not call them symptoms because if i said symptoms it would mean that i knew that these were indicators of covid no i didn't so let's just say uh these are this is what was happening to me at the time that made me uh want to go get checked so loss of energy uh weak muscles and then the other thing was my skin was uh, sensitive to the touch, especially uh, areas that have uh, skin hair in the sense that uh, it's almost like this, uh, my skin was interpreting touch as pain, little confu slight confusion in the nerves. And so there was this uh, pain sensation at the roots of the hair, if I should say so. The other uh, thing that was happening was the back of my eyes would hurt. If I rolled my eyes too far to the left, it would hurt. Too far to the right, it would hurt. Up, down, that too. What was the other thing? Oh yeah, on the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so before everything else started, it was, uh, there was a light dry cough. Although for me, it only lasted two days. Two days and I haven't really coughed since. That's gone like completely gone and so i went to get checked and came out covid positive and they gave me a cocktail of these pills that i've been taking since and as soon as i took the cocktail on the very first day at night woke up the next day feeling a change like i already felt like i was getting better so that cocktail actually really works i think i'll be out and about in a week or so I'll be released from confinement and uh, free to go outside and do whatever. I just want to conclude the video by saying, uh, you know, stay masked up, keep sanitizing your hands every other time, you know, uh, keep yourselves protected guys. Um, if not for you, do it for your old folks because you know, God forbid COVID catches you with any other underlying health issues. It, things could get really complicated really fast. So if not for you, do it for your old folks, do it for the old people around you. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for, the, uh, for today's video, guys. Until next time, when I see you on the road, peace out.